In today's video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make these easy to crochet summer baby shoes. The main pattern of this shoe is fillet mesh, starting with the foundation chain and working in rounds. Then I will continue with upper part and finishing this shoe by making reverse single crochet trim. This simple shoe can crochet even beginner. For work you need a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Begin the sole by making a chain of 14. Let's start. 1 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. This is foundation chain. Now begin the first round. For this chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook. Skip two chain stitches away from the hook and make half double crochet three into the third stitch. Make the first one and we need to do two more times. One and make the second one. Continue making half double crochet into each of next six chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Then double crochet into each of next 6 chain stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, into the last chain stitch of the foundation chain, we make 7 double crochet stitches. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, turn the work upside down and continue working into the same chain stitch. Five. Six and seven. We are at the opposite side. Continue the first round working through the same chain stitches of the foundation chain. Double crochet into each of next six chain stitches. One, two, three, Four, five, and six. Then half double crochet into each of next six chain stitches. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Now into the last chain stitch make half double crochet three. Make the first one. Make the second one half double crochet and the third one. Continue. 
Complete the first round by making a slip stitch into the second chain stitch. The first round is ready. Crochet the second round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Then double crochet into the same chain stitch that we have just worked a slip stitch into. Then double crochet twice into the next stitch of the previous round. Make the first double crochet and the second double crochet into the same stitch. Continue double crochet into each of next 15 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. We have just done 15 double crochet stitches in a row. Then double crochet twice into each of next two stitches. One and two. Continue. Double crochet three into the next stitch. One, two, and three. Continue this round working on the opposite side. Work the same stitches in reverse order. Double crochet twice into the following two stitches. One and two. Double crochet into each of next 15 stitches. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. I made 15 double crochet and now double crochet twice into the following stitch. Make the first one double crochet and the second one. And now I need to do double crochet into the chain stitch that will work at a slip stitch into the complete the previous round. To complete the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch that we made on the beginning of this round. The second round is done. Let's continue the work and begin the third round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Then double crochet twice into each of next 3 stitches.
one two and three double crochet 15 in a row let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen Then double crochet twice into each of next five stitches. One, two, three. four and five into the next stitch double crochet three one two and three now before we continue this round insert the stitch marker into the middle double of these three that are worked into the one stitch and marker into the second double here three double crochet stitches this stitch marker shows us the center of the toy now let's continue and complete the third round double crochet twice into the following five stitches one two three four and five well done double crochet into each of next 15 stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And we need to do double crochet twice into each of next three stitches. One.
two and make the last time. Complete the third round by working a slip stitch into the third chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round 3 is finished. The stitch marker shows us the center of the toy. The next round is a round of single crochet stitches, so start round 4, chain to bring up the yarn. And make single crochet into each stitch of the previous round. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Don't forget to move the stitch marker to the new round. I'm about to complete round 4. For this, make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch that we made on the beginning. Don't forget to move the stitch marker to the new round. We start to crochet the upper part. Begin the next fifth round. Make a chain to bring up the yarn. And I will be crocheting single crochet into each back loop of the stitch. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. And don't forget to move the stitch marker to the new round. I'm about to complete round 5. I remind you that we made single crochet into each back loop of the stitch. And to complete this round, insert the hook into the first chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Let's look at our sole. Begin the next round. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Chain more. And make double crochet into the second stitch. Skip the first stitch and make double crochet into the second one. Chain, we skip the next stitch and make single crochet into the second stitch. Make a chain, yarn over the hoop, skip the first stitch and make double crochet into the second one. Make a chain, yarn over the hook, skip the next stitch and make double crochet into the second stitch. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. To complete round 6, make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch that we made on the beginning of this round. Before we continue, we stop here and look at work. When I made this round, I marked this chain space between doubles. Continue the work. The next round will be the same as the previous one. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. Make chain more and double crochet into the stitch of the previous round. Chain and double crochet into the stitch of the previous round. Make a chain, make double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Continue making the sequence chain and double crochet till the end of this round. Don't forget to move the stitch marker to the new round. And I'm about to complete round 7. Make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch that we made on the beginning. I move the stitch marker to the new round. I remind you, I mark this chain space between doubles. Begin round 8. 
chain 3 to bring up the yarn, chain more and double crochet into the double crochet of the previous round. Chain and double crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Chain and double crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 8. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch at the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 8 is done. Now before we start the next round, I will make some marks. Take two more stitch markers. Here is the middle stitch marker. And from this middle one you should count 6 stitches to both sides. I will count from the stitch with the marker. At the beginning I will count to the right, skip 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and insert the stitch marker into the 6th stitch, and do the same to the other side, skip 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and insert the stitch marker into the 6th stitch, We have just done marks. Now I remove the middle stitch marker and we continue the work. Chain to bring up the yarn and chain more and single crochet into the stitch of the previous round. Make a chain and single crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Chain and single crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Continue making in this way till the first stitch marker. Chain and single crochet through the double crochet. Chain and single crochet. Chain and single crochet. Make a chain and single crochet through the stitch. Chain and single crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Make a chain and single crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Chain and single crochet. Then make a chain. Remove the stitch marker. And yarn over the hook to work with half double crochet. Insert the stitch marker into the previous single crochet. Like this. Make double crochet into each double crochet of the previous round. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the double crochet of the previous round, pull up a loop, pull through two loops twice. And let's count. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Then yarn over the hook to work with half double crochet. Remove the stitch marker and make half double crochet into the stitch that was marked. Make a chain and single crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. And I mark this stitch. Make a chain and single crochet through the double crochet of the previous round. Chain and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round. 
you should continue making the sequence chain and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round till the end of this round. Make a chain and insert the hook into the first chain stitch that we made on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 9 is made. Let's look at work. And we continue the work, make a chain to bring up the yarn, then chain more and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round. Make a chain and single crochet into the single crochet of the previous round, chain and single crochet through the single crochet of the previous round, chain and single crochet, chain and make single crochet through the single crochet of the previous round, chain and single crochet, chain and make single crochet, chain and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round, make a chain and single crochet. Remove the stitch marker, make a chain, Make single crochet through the stitch that was marked. I mark this stitch. Make a chain. Make double crochet two together six times. Now I will be making double crochet two together for this yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the stitch of the previous round, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. Then yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops. We have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through. First double crochet two together is done. We need to do five more times. Let's make the second one. The third one, make the first double crochet, the second double crochet and pull through all loops on the hook. The fourth time, make the first double crochet, the second double crochet and pull through all loops. Make the fifth double crochet two together. And the last one. Well done, make a chain, remove the stitch marker, make single crochet through the, this stitch that was marked, insert the stitch marker into this single crochet and we we'll continue the work, make a chain and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round. Chain and single crochet through the stitch. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. After the chain, I insert the hook into the first chain stitch that we made from the beginning by making a slip stitch. Round 10 is made. Let's look what we have now. Begin the 12th round. Make a chain. Chain more for the chain space and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round. Chain and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round. Chain and single crochet through the stitch of the previous round. Continue making the same till the first stitch marker. Once we have done single crochet and chain till the first stitch marker, I made a chain then single crochet into the stitch that was marked, chain. Then I will be making single crochet into each of next six stitches. Insert the hook through the next stitch by making single crochet 
Insert the stitch marker into the chain space that is before this single crochet. Like this. First single crochet is ready and we need to crochet 5 more. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I remind you, in total it should be 6 of them. Make a chain, remove the stitch marker and make single crochet into the stitch that was marked. Insert the stitch marker into the chain space that is before this single crochet. Like this. We have just done marks and we continue the work, make a chain and single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row chain and single crochet through the single crochet, make a chain and single crochet. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete this round. After a chain, I insert the hook into the first chain stitch that we made on the beginning of this round by making a slip stitch. Round 11 is done. Let's look at our result. Our shoe is almost ready, but we still need to continue. Begin the 12th round. I will work with single crochet in this round. Make chain to bring up the yarn. Insert the hook into the chain space by making a single crochet. Then single crochet through the stitch. Then single crochet into the chain space and single crochet through the stitch. Single crochet into the chain space and single crochet into the next stitch. Continue single crochet into the chain space and single crochet into the stitch. I will crochet in this way till the first stitch marker. I have made single crochet into the stitch and now remove the stitch marker. Single crochet into the chain space that was marked. I'm gonna to make single crochet two together three times. For this, insert the hook through the next stitch, pull up a loop through. Then insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop through. We have three loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through. First single crochet is made. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop through. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop through and pull through all loops on the hook. It was the second one. And make the last one. Then remove the stitch marker. We don't need it anymore. Then single crochet into the chain space. Then single crochet through the stitch. Then single crochet into the chain space and single crochet through the stitch. Into the chain space and through the stitch. And continue making single crochet till the end of this round. To complete this round, I insert the hook into the first chain stitch on the beginning by making a slip stitch. The upper part is almost ready and I will crochet in reverse single crochet trim around the upper part. Let's begin the trim chain to bring up the yarn. It should work. Insert the hook into the previous stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops to finish reverse single crochet and make single crochet into each stitch of the previous round. Like this. Continue making reverse single crochet till the end of this round. Make the last reverse single crochet through the stitch. 
Remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet. I insert the hook. I insert the hook in two loops of the first reverse single crochet. Take the working yarn, pull it through. The upper part is made. We have just done reverse single crochet trim around the upper part. And now we need to crochet reverse single crochet trim around the sole. I put a heel part of the shoe and let's begin the trim. For this join the yarn to any free loop on the heel part. Insert the hook into the loop, pull up a loop, then make a chain to begin the new round and single crochet and reverse single crochet into each stitch of the last round of the sole. Like this. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Make the last reverse single crochet through the stitch. Pull up the working loop, remove the hook, insert it into two loops of the first reverse single crochet. Take the working yarn, pull it through and make a chain to finish the work. We already cut off the yarn. Our shoe is made. You should remove all yarns and the baby shoe is ready. The second shoe is made the same way as the first one. In this video tutorial you have seen how to crochet simple summer baby shoes. Let's measure the size of this baby shoe. My shoe measures from 10 cm to 11 cm. Thanks for watching. We are pleased to inform you that we have opened membership service on our website. Membership includes an access to the video tutorials, which are published every week. Only at sharonitin.com and only for members. For more detailed information, please visit the membership page at sharonitin.com. Thanks for watching.